What's going on guys? Happy weekend. In this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of things here. We're going to talk about CPI coming up. It's going to be a very big event coming up this week. And I also want to talk about some recent news for CleanSpark, a $500 million share offering. And next week is going to be huge for Bitcoin with the potential for the spot Bitcoin ETF approval or denial. It's going to be a very volatile week. And first off, I want to mention CPI coming up. And our December CPI data is going to be coming out on January 11th. So at the end of next week coming up here. And we didn't get it last time, but maybe we get it on this CPI finally getting into the twos. And finally breaking under that psychological three, I think that'll be a huge thing for the market. And we're getting ever closer to Fed rate cuts. And I've said this or something similar to this before. The Fed, if they want a soft landing, they are going to cut those rates before we get right to that 2% target. And in the last Fed meeting, the Fed kind of alluded to that. As for Bitcoin, it's still trading in this range. Keep an eye on this ascending channel. I do think we're very close to getting to our 48,000 resistance, and I think that's huge. And despite right now being near our 52 week high, Bitcoin's RSI here is now getting very neutral. We have a chance to actually go on a breakout and go on a big run here. But I do think Bitcoin's breakout or break down is going to depend on the upcoming SEC spot Bitcoin ETF catalyst. So you're definitely going to want to keep an eye on Bitcoin, keep an eye on this ascending channel. Now I do want to talk about CleanSpark's $500 million share offering. A lot of people have been asking about this. And if you're looking at this as a swing, if you're looking at this short term, of course, this is a negative. Being a short-sighted shareholder, you don't wanna see dilution. But looking at this company long-term, looking at the survival of this company, looking at their survival to profitability, this gives them what they need to get there. And another thing to realize is while the stock price will react quickly to this negative news, it already reacted a little bit after hours, and Friday was a deep red day for pretty much all the miners. But this is gonna be a short-term negative in terms of stock price. I think it's very likely we get to our $7 gap fill. But in reality, you know, this is going to be throughout time that they're gonna do this. It's not just gonna happen overnight and it may potentially diminish the peak of the bull run. For example, instead of getting to a peak of say 100 in the peak of the bull run in 2025, maybe we only get to 90. Instead of getting to 50, maybe we only get to 45. I do think looking at them as a company when the share price goes up dramatically, currently unprofitable companies like CleanSpark need to take advantage of it. And this is what they're doing. But let me know what you guys think. Is this a positive or a negative? Of course, short term it's a negative, I do expect a little bit of a downward push, especially if Bitcoin doesn't move up dramatically. But overall, this doesn't change my vision of CleanSpark one bit. I think they're still gonna have a great 2024 and an even better 2025. And this further cements them in being a top miner for decades to come. But if you guys want access to that, I will leave it down below in the description for you. It is on CleanSpark's investor relations tab on their SEC filings, but I'll leave it down below for you just for easy access. Now looking at CleanSpark, the chart does look like it's gonna continue falling down. And of course, with this $500 million share offering, I wouldn't be surprised to see a little more short-term pain. A lot of the miners across the board over the last couple weeks now have been showing signs of topping out and CleanSpark did break its ascending trend here. Now I do think that gap fill in the sevens is very likely and I think that's a great opportunity to buy. And we do have some previous resistances that will likely play out as levels of support to at least give us a short-term bounce, if not a definitive bounce and a push to new 52 week highs. We had a previous resistance right at the fill of this gap. Back here in July 2023, when we went on our last run before this one, that was a pretty strong resistance point, and it was a resistance point back in 22 as well. And if we don't bounce on a gap fill, our next level to the downside to watch would be around 675. This was an area where CleanSpark, when it broke out, it broke out very nicely from. I do think it'll be a major support if we do get down that far. But I'll say it time and time again, any of these pullbacks are great buying opportunities. CleanSpark as a company has been dramatically growing their exahash and they're only a few months away to getting to 16 exahash before the halving. And that huge upcoming hash rate growth is going to mitigate a lot of the pain from rewards being cut in half. And of course we have Bitcoin's price appreciation to consider as well but they just continue pumping out record quarters after record quarters in terms of revenue. And I really do expect profitability isn't that far away. Now to finish this off, I'm gonna talk about Bitcoin and the spot Bitcoin ETFs and something that I think is much bigger in my opinion. And while it's huge that the spot Bitcoin ETFs could win approval next week, there's also something interesting here. The SEC has asked issuers that hope to launch next week to also prepare written requests for the regulator to accelerate the effective date for those ETFs. The normal process is for regulators to discuss the timing more informally with issuers. I do think things are all getting set up behind the scenes and we will see that spot Bitcoin ETF approval. And I gotta say, I personally don't see it as a buy the rumor, sell the news event, but let me know what you guys think down below. And what I think is more important than the spot Bitcoin ETFs is the halving. We are right around a hundred days away and every Bitcoin halving in history has brought Bitcoin's price up massively with a hundred percent success. The incoming Bitcoin will get cut in half while demand stays the same or grows as people see Bitcoin hitting new all-time highs, 
And of course we have the spot Bitcoin ETFs bringing in even more buying. This is the time to be in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is about to move massively. But let me know what you guys think about what's going on. What have you guys been researching this weekend? Do you think the spot Bitcoin ETFs are going to get approved next week? And also, do you think CPI is finally going to come into the twos? And how do you feel about this CleanSpark $500 million share offering? Of course, short term, it's a negative. But on the long term, if you're looking at this company for decades, this helps them remain a top miner. This helps them become a household name for years to come. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Thanks, as always, for watching and have a good rest of your weekend.